Some will eternally be angry over all decisions in life. Decisions determine your destiny. Look over somebody and say, I've decided to live for Christ. These are words to review now. Pilate has written them. What have I written? What have I done? What have I said? These are, are the times to sit down and review all the events that has, took, that has happened in the past hours. And now Pilate's sitting there and they're rushing through his mind. He must have revealed every, every word, every decision, everything that happened from the time that Jesus was brought to him. And he examined him and found nothing wrong. No fault in him. He, he probably thought with his mind, what is the attitude of this prisoner? What was the attitude of the prisoner called Jesus? He opened not his mouth. Wow. Man. Even though they hired people that was wrong. And you know, that's the thing that bothers me the most. When you're, I'm sitting somewhere and somebody comes up and says, He said this, and I know I didn't. The first thing I want to do is jump up and grab them. <laughs> but I've got to remember, if I do that, I've lost the written word. I can't do that. Why? Because I am now bound by the word of God. I've got to walk as he walked. I've got to talk as he talked. I've got to do as he's done. Because he so loved the world. In spite of the wrongs. What was his attitude? His attitude was like a sheep led to the slaughter. He opened not his mouth. Wow. Well, what about the advice that Pilate was getting from his wife? You see, you ought not to be making decisions by what your loved ones are telling you. You ought to be basing them on the Word of God. Because sometimes they will try to make your decision work out in their favor. Come on now. Your children will often make your decision work out in their favor. I know. I got two girls and they love to do that. And they know enough Bible to come in there and sit down with me and, and, and tangle for a while. Mm -hmm. But every now and then you see, they go to the revised edition. And I'll say, I don't think I've ever found that one in there. Let's go looking for it. And then when we go searching, I find all the ones I want to read. <laughs> and it changes their attitude. But you see, Pilate's wife, she changed the decision that he was going to make on the man who he found no fault in. I had dreams about that man. Oh, Lord. What about the cries of the crowd? He listened to what they were saying. Away with him! Away with him! Away with him! Did you know today that it's unpopular to be a, a, a born again child of God and know Jesus Christ as your personal son? Did you know that that's unpopular? You're far better by being a Presbyterian, a Catholic, a Pentecostal, a Baptist. Nothing about Jesus Christ. You understand what I'm saying? The religious war is on. But we ought to get buried into the body of Christ because you're a winner that way. Are you preaching right this morning? You see, it is written, greater is he that is within me than he that's within the world. The crowd might have a whole lot of different things about this, but I know one thing, it's written, and the devil can't stand there. Oh, when you stand there and you begin to let him know how you're found on the word of Jesus Christ, you're not going to move. It's going to take you through all things. You're going to believe his word above all things else. Pilate done one thing. 
He said, can I push the replay button? <laughs> How many times have you heard somebody say, it sounds like a song to me? Only the song says, if I had this money, I'd do things my way. But how many times have you heard somebody say, I wish I could do it again? You can't. Nobody can go back 20 years. Nobody can go back yesterday. Nobody can change what you said last week. The only thing you can do is change your moments from now on. A friend of mine called me here last week. He was having trouble with his wife. He said, Pastor, you probably know what I'm going through. I said, He said, I'm having trouble with my wife. I said, What makes you think I have to go back? <laughs> Peggy, I thought immediately he was trying to trick me. I thought he had my, wa- my, my wife on a, on a three way conversation. If I would have said the wrong thing, I would have been trouble. <laughs> And I said, what's happening? He said, I come in. He said, she is so mad, so angry. And he says, I do the Christian thing. I said, whoa. Tell me what the Christian thing is. He said, I just look at her, stomp my foot, turn around, go out and get in my car and leave for four or five hours. I said, that's what the Christian is? Yeah. And I said, well, what happens when you come home? He said, well, sometimes she's a lot better. She don't talk to me for a while. He said, but other times she continues going on and on and it's even worse. And I said, that's the Christian thing, huh? How many of you know that that's not the Christian thing? Yes, it's not. What we're supposed to do is, we're supposed to confront that in love. And so, and so Pilate here, he's now trying to do a replay. I wish I could go back to yesterday and, and, and fix that. You know what? There's been many a fight that I know that I was right and my wife was wrong. <laughs> but there's been many more that she found out she was right and I was wrong. Before my wife takes this message away from me, i got to preach. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is this. What we need to do is realize we can't go back and pick up a fight from yesterday and try to settle it with him because I know I was right. <laughs> he could not push the replay button. He couldn't go back and take Christ through everything he'd done. He's now got him on the cross and he's not coming down. No, 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 no. For this cause came I into the world and he stood before heaven and earth no matter what the devil tried to do, no matter what the devil tried to say, he said, you can't take my life. You can't take it away from me. I'm going to give my life. Jesus went for that cause. He stood there on the cross. And as they put the inscription upon him, he looked at them. And they looked back at him. How Pilate said, I'm telling you right now, he's the king of the Jews. And they're saying, no, don't put that up there. Put up there that he said he was. No, 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 no. He had it right. He's the king of kings. He's the Lord of Lords. And even the devil has 